Hello and welcome to Weekly MTG. I'm your host, Blake Rasmussen, and we have a very exciting show today where we are announcing something called the Magic Spotlight Series. What it is, I don't know. I mean, I do know. And so does <laughs> Billy Jensen, the Director of Play Programs, uh, who's here to tell us all about it. Welcome, Billy. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh we're going to get to the announcement, but I'd like to build a little suspense and also let some people get in. So uh, let's kick things off before we talk about what the Spotlight Series is, what this means, all that sort of jazz. Um, you know, you've done director of play programs for a few years now. Um, we, we've come out of the pandemic with, with all sorts of new play opportunities. Can you give us an overview of kind of where play has been the last few years, where it's come to, and how we've reached this point where we're launching this new series? Sure. So yeah, a couple years ago, we launched our new competitive play system, uh, feeding up to the Pro Tour, which was similar to the past. Um, the RCs and the RCQs had some similarities to systems of the past, but uh, not exactly the same. There's a lot more onus on qualification now to play in a lot of larger events. Um, In-store play in general has been doing better and better over time. Uh, very happy with a lot of the programs there from uh, pre-release to commander parties, store championships, standard showdown, and so on. Uh, Magic Play is doing great. It's been uh, steadily, engagement with play uh, has been steadily increasing over time, uh, both competitive and uh, more social and in-store play. And overall, things from a play perspective are just going really well. Um, highlighted by MagicCon and all the awesome play events we have there, uh, Gavin's Unknown event, uh, the Secret Layer Showdown, uh, PTQs, and so on. All right. And so um, all of that sounds awesome, but it, it sounds like room discussions with, with your team, um, which you have a fantastic team, and they and you have been working on uh, a gap, I guess we'll call it, in, in play offerings, S hence the Spotlight Series. So why don't you tell us what the Magic Spotlight Series is? Yeah, so it is true. Uh, first of all, it is true that, that I work with an amazing team here. I just want to want to call them out. The playing events team here at Wizards put a lot of time and effort into this, and I am fortunate to be able to be the spokesperson for it but everybody worked really hard. I want to give props to the whole team. Um, they really made this possible. And um, really, I would give them a round of applause if it made sense, if we were in a setting to do it, but uh, <laughs> they deserve it. So anyway, um, it's true what you've said. Uh, there is a gap right now. Uh, we've heard community feedback for a while. Uh, there aren't that many weekends on the calendar where somebody can say you know what i just want to without preparing for it in terms of qualifying without uh sort of doing groundwork i just want to go play a big magic tournament you know i want to go play a big magic tournament with with stakes and 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 um pro tour invites and um in that vein we're we're pleased today to announce the magic spotlight series um, the Magic Spotlight series begins in 2025. It's going to be a series of eight open Magic tournaments, each with $50,000 prize pool, eight invites to an upcoming Pro Tour, and um, each event will have a theme. Um, each event will also have a bespoke version of a promo card specific to that theme. So uh, the first one is going to be in Atlanta in early January, January 3rd to 5th uh, at SCG Con. It's going to be Magic Spotlight Foundations. Uh, it'll be standard constructed, and that'll feature a Terror of the Peaks uh, promo card with art from Richard Kane Ferguson. Yep, there's that. We don't have the card image yet, but uh, I think that art speaks for itself. Um, and so the plan for 2025 is there'll be five of these in the United States, two in Europe, and one in Japan. Um, the five in the United States will be hosted by Star City Games. The two in Europe will be hosted by Fanfinity, formerly known as Tournament Center, 
and the one in Japan will be hosted by Big Magic. Those are all the partners in those regions that are running our um, our competitive play system, and we expect they will deliver, as they always do, extremely high quality events. Yeah. Now I, I want to uh, go back a little bit and talk. So you talked about big open event, fifty thousand dollar prize pool. Um, and that's, that's definitely the main event for the Spotlight Series. But is there anything around that? Yeah, that that will be up to the organizer. But, I mean, um, I've been to SCG Con. I don't know if you've made it to any, but there's tons going on. There's all kinds of uh, competitive tournaments. There's, uh, you know, commander play. And I would expect all that stuff to continue. But mm -hmm. the specific details you can find at StarCityGames.com. Okay. Uh, and there's also, you know... Uh, the fifty thousand dollar prize pool is something, but we're also doing something kind of cool where the winner gets just a, a really cool prize. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, definitely. So there, there's a, a cool winner's prize. Um, the one for the first event, which is the only one we're prepared prepared to announce today, is standard for a year. So mm -hmm. the winner of Magic Spotlight Foundations will get a case of play booster displays. So six boxes of played booster displays for every standard release in 2025 as sort of a cherry on top <laughs> it's a pretty it's a pretty good cherry right there it is yeah and i would expect you know it you know those prizes will vary sometimes it'll be maybe some product it might be an extra special trophy it might be a non-product piece of memorabilia um that's just meant like i said to be a cool a cool uh a cool and fun bonus to the winner of these events yeah um now you mentioned the first one happening in atlanta we're not ready to announce all of them today but we do have the second one uh when and where is the second one happening the second one will be uh march 15th through 16th in utrecht the netherlands hosted by fanfinity that will be magic spotlight modern which naturally will be a modern event mm -hmm. and um a celebration of the modern format uh that event will have a Cauldra Complete promo card with art by, and I apologize if I, I, I don't know how to pronounce this, but we couldn't Monstray. figure out this morning. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome art uh, and a cool promo, uh, March fifteenth through sixteenth in Utrecht. Yep, and the other six will announce at a later date. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Um, I, I want to go to something that chat has been excitedly repeating. Um, you know, you and I have been around for quite some time, and we obviously remember the old Grand Prix system. Uh, chat clearly remembers the Grand Prix system. Uh, <laughs> how is this the same? How is this different? Yeah, so, I mean, the tournament itself and the Grand Prix tournament are not that different. Um There'll be nine rounds in the first day. Uh, all players with 18 or more match points will advance to the second day where there'll be six more rounds of Swiss and cut to a top eight. Um, however, there won't be any buys in the Spotlight Series, either earned or you know from trials or things like that. Um, there won't be any sort of fractional progress um, towards, towards invites. Mm -hmm. There'll be self-contained standalone events now, on the flip side, these events are much more focused with the theme and, and, like I said before, a version of a promo card that's uh, specific to that theme. I'll just call out the phrasing there. It's possible at some point we'll run more than one event of a theme globally where they'll mm -hmm. share a promo card. Um, exact details, again, to BD, but TBD, but... Um, so yeah, much more of a focus on those kind of thematicness. Um, another similarity to various times of the GP era, these events in 2025 will all have coverage. Um, mm. That event coverage will be managed by the partners. So you should look for more details from Star City Games, Fanfinity, and Big Magic as they become available. But all eight of these events will be broadcast on the internet so that players can um, you know, take part by spectating, even if they're not able to make it to, to that specific weekend. Yeah. Uh, coverage is going to make a lot of people happy, I know. Um, 
We that I mean that's the bulk of the announcement. We have plenty of time for questions, chat. So um, I've already grabbed some from chat, but if you have questions, go ahead and tag at magic in chat. That makes it a little bit easier for me to find them. Uh, and we will launch into a few questions that I've already seen. Uh, one, can you uh, reiterate how many Pro Tour invites will these events have? Each one will have eight. Um, the plan is that it's just eight without any sort of uh, pass downs or record ties or anything like that. Each one is going to have eight. Okay. Uh, and, and then is there a, um, a cap to the number of people that can play in these events? The answer is maybe that is event based at the discretion of the organizer in the venue. So it is possible that certain events will have caps. They might not all be the same size. And you should find that information from Star City Games, Fanfinity, and Big Magic as it becomes available. Great. Um, is the promo a participation promo, a uh, placing promo? How do you get the promo? Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, everybody who competes will get the, a copy of the promo for participating. And the top 128 finishers will get uh, a special version, a foil version. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. will there be a cost of entry to these to the for well we'll do it we'll do it in two parts just for clarity will there be a cost of entry to the spotlight series weekend one or to the main event both of those things are up to the discretion of the organizer um Certainly, I would expect the main event to have an entry fee. As for the weekend, it might vary, um, but you can get that information from Star City Games, Fanfinity, and Big Magic as it becomes available. Yeah, and I know, um, don't quote me on this because I'm not in charge of Star City and, and Fanfinity, but I believe they will be posting more information on those two events today. I believe they will be. Um, so look for that from them. Um, all right, a lot of great questions. Let's just keep going. Um, uh, let's hear. Let's get the band questions. We're going to talk. Be in our announcement next week. The announcement will be posted on Monday at 8 a.m. Pacific time, and then we will have a weekly MTG show uh, with Dan Musser and Carmen Comparins uh, at the same time as this show, where we'll talk through everything. Great. There we are. Um, generally speaking. Uh, as variations of this question, but I, I think someone put it nicely when they said, "If this if this uh, event series is, is a success in 2025, could you see expanding it beyond eight events in 2026?" Um, I think it's very early to commit to what might happen in 2026, but I guess in general, the more successful things are, the easier it is to expand them. I think that's mm -hmm. fair to say, but don't take that as a proclamation that if A, then B, because I just don't know the answer. Yep. Um, number of questions about formats for these events. So first one's standard, second one's modern. We're not ready to announce the formats for the rest of them, but how are you thinking about the formats for these events? Yeah, I mean, the team and I have penciled in, um, the team and I have penciled in the formats for the year. So I have a pretty good idea of what they might be. Um, a lot of it is based on what is suitable for the theme. Um, I can say that uh, Standard will be heavily supported on this series in 2025. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll try to hit, we'll try to hit keynotes, I guess, is the most I can, can say. Okay. Um, let's see. Next question. How does this affect the regional championship system? Um, I guess the short answer is not to be cavalier, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, these are self-contained events that um, there's, you know, over the course of the year spread out over all the pro tours, there'll be an extra, what, 64 invites. Um, and the rest of the invites that are given out by the regional championships are unchanged. Players who participate in RCQs can still go play um, their regional championships and, and compete for those invites 
Mm -hmm. uh, and if, if they want to also participate in this, they, they are encouraged to do that. Um, but this is separate other than the fact it's managed by the same partners um, that there's no tie in. Yeah. Um, are you, if, when you're looking at formats, and, and I think you kind of talked about it, but we were getting the question directly. Uh, when you're looking at the formats, are you trying to match that to the RCQCs and do something different? Are they, are they not related? Not really related. Um, like I said, we're trying to sort of do what makes the most sense to um, the theme. Um, primarily, it's the theme is what I have to say. Like primarily the, the theme of the event, like, you know, Magic Spotlight Foundations, we, we that really was going to be a, a, a standard event. It w mm -hmm. wouldn't have really made much sense <laughs> for it to be modern. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um... Let's see, someone getting real in the weeds. Are these, uh, are the main events going to be open deck list or closed deck list? I'm honestly not sure. It's a, it's a fair and good question. I don't know the answer. Okay. Uh, let's see. I, I see a, a number of people who love Popper. Uh, I would say the odds <laughs> of one of these being Popper is pretty low. Never say never, but pretty low. Um, let's see. Do we have an exact date for Atlanta? Yes, we do. So I'll also reiterate, um, Billy's answering a ton of questions right here, but there is going to be, there are going to be resources, uh, after this stream is done that are going to have a bunch of these answers laid out in print, ready for you to reference. Uh, so there's going to be an article today on, uh, magic.gg, uh, probably accessible from dailymtg.com as well. Um, uh, that's going to lay out everything that, Billy announced, including the dates and locations for the first two events, but also uh, the uh, organizers will be getting their pages up, if not today, soon. Uh, I think it's today, but I really don't want to speak on their behalf because uh, because stuff can happen. But uh, check out Fanfinity and StarCityGames.com uh, for more information about their events as well, dates, locations. Um, side events, how to qualify, how to get in. They're going to have all of that detailed information. So make sure you're checking with those tournament organizers as well. Um, this is slightly off topic, but, but definitely related. Um, and uh, there's a lot of questions about the 2025 Pro Tour locations and schedules. We're going to have that announcement soon. I don't have a, I don't have a date for you, but soon. Um, Let's see. A lot of questions about like the locations and, and that sort of stuff. And, and the events are, you know, again, this is the relaunch of a series. So um, it may expand in the future. We'll see. We'll see how this year goes. Let's see. See a question about the five, uh, the 50K prize payout. Is it going to be top heavy? Uh, Billy, is that going to be the same from event to event or... Like, is it up to the organizer, or is there a uniform payout schedule for each uh, main event? So I think it's pseudo-uniform. I think that the prize schedule might slightly be different based on the number of players in the event. Do you know what I mean? Like, it might go yeah. down deeper with more. But you should check the uh, the organizer's website for, for those details. Um, I don't want to I don't want to accidentally commit somebody to something. Um, but I don't think it's going to be particularly top-heavy. But... Mm -hmm. I guess to be fair, top heavy means different things to different people too. So I don't think it's going to be dramatic. In, yeah. in my opinion, I, you know, the schedules I've seen were not dramatic. Let's put it that way. All right. Uh, let's see more questions. Uh, can you give us an idea of the regions in the U.S. Even if you can't tell the city, uh, not at this point. Uh, we're just not ready to announce all of that. Um, but we will have. That information as we're able to. These are well, we can't say again. These are the first two. There will not be any uh, unannounced uh, Magic Spotlight series happening events happening before these. Um, but other than that, uh, we do not have those information. Those those that information. There we go. Speaking. I do this for a living. Um, <laughs> Uh, any LGS based tie-ins to the events? Not at this time. Okay. Uh, any plans for arena integration with the Spotlight series? Um, 
I think in general, arena integration is cool, but we also don't have plans for that at this time. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I don't think we said this, but I have seen a couple questions on this. So Fanfinity might be a new name to some people. Yeah, I hit on that during the graphic, but Fanfinity was formerly known as Tournament Center. They've run a lot of Magic and TCG events over the years, and uh, they've rebranded Fanfinity. Um, so, yeah, they're probably, Tournament Center is probably more familiar, especially to the non-European audience, just in naming, but Fanfinity is the same great company and the same great people. Uh, we expect the same great events. Yeah. Uh, will Billy, this comes from some slacker named Corey B. MTG. Uh -oh. Billy, will Billy dust off his sleeves and battle in these events, or is he scared? He is prohibited from competing. I am scared of the legal implications. <laughs> I'm scared of I'm scared of HR getting yeah. I'm scared of getting fired. Um, I mean, but that are, you can't play in them. Are you going to pop into any of these events and and see how they go? Yes, I don't know exactly which ones yet, but I expect to go to a, at least a couple. Yeah. No, I, I, we can wax nostalgic for a sec. I have fond memories of the Grand Prix circuit. Um, that's actually where you and I first met a long time yeah. ago. Um, God, Providence? Somewhere up there. I but, played so many that I, they all blend together in my head. So I'm never going to go like, oh yeah, that was pretty, yeah, that one, you know, Providence that one. 2018. But yeah. Um, yeah, I am personally very excited. Uh, for this type of event to be back and I'm very much looking forward to attending some for sure. Yeah. Even if Corey's going to be there, I'll probably still go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's very much, I mean, magic cons are this big electric atmosphere and, and then grand prix were smaller and, and, you know, it's very competitive focused, but it's, it's that very specific group that kind of comes together every few months, which was kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, you talked about this earlier. Um, will a point system come back for this, such as silver, gold, etc.? cetera? Uh, definitely not in 2025. I think it's unlikely in the longer term, but as Blake said, never say never. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> will all of these events be part of a larger event or will some be standalone? So again, it's important to differentiate. There's, there's the uh, Spotlight main event, Spotlight Series main event, and then there's the Spotlight Series weekend. Um, can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, so like Magic Spotlight Foundations, for example, is the main event in January 3rd to 5th in Atlanta. Magic Spotlight Foundations is a tournament taking place at SCG Con Atlanta, where there'll be tons of stuff for people to do who maybe they don't want to play uh, a two-day tournament. Maybe they only have Saturday to do stuff. Maybe you're a commander player and you just want to hang out at uh, a magic event and play some commander. Those options will be on the table for you. And if you want to get more granular than that, you'll need to check uh, the organizer's website. Mm -hmm. Does that answer the question? I think so, yeah. Okay. Let's say yes. If they come back and say <laughs> ask, they can ask clarifications. You can always ask clarifications. Um, although I will say, so a lot of the questions I'm seeing now, great questions, very good questions that we've uh, answered earlier in the stream uh, for a lot of them in some form or fashion, uh, which you may have missed. Just totally happens, and it's totally fair. Um, but in the interest of not repeating ourselves for everyone who's been here the whole time. Uh, I'll encourage people to go back and rewatch this stream. We're going to keep it a little bit short, so it'll be pretty easy to rewatch. Uh, but you can also head to magic.gg or dailymtg.com, uh, and the announcement article will be up um, either at the conclusion of the stream or at 11 o'clock, whatever the team decides to do. Uh, and that's going to have all the information in one place. Uh, and then I'll encourage you as well to check, uh, especially with Star City Games and Fanfinity, who will be getting their information up for those first two events uh, very soon. Uh, and we'll have all kinds of details on how exactly those events are going to go. Uh, in the meantime, oh, look at that. The full event announcement's up now. Thanks, Stibbs. Stibbs is on top of that sort of thing. Uh, love it. 
Um, I think we have answered all the questions we are able to um, in some form or fashion. And so we are going to call it there. Um, but again, uh, a couple things. Uh, if you want to talk more about this, the official Magic the Gathering Discord is opening a channel to specifically talk about the Spotlight series. I know Billy may pop in there at some point today to answer questions or just reminisce about the old days. Um, but we're going to be talking about it there. Uh, the article, as put up in chat uh, from us, is already up. I would look for... Um, more from Star City Games and Fanfinity later today, later this week. Um, I don't want to put timing on, on them. That isn't already there. Um, but I know that they're going to have some information soon. Uh, and other than that, Billy, thank you for joining us. Um, Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Uh, I know the chat appreciates it. Next week... Yes, we will be talking about the ban and restricted announcement. Uh, that is coming on Monday the 26th. We'll watch all the reactions, gather all the questions, and then Dan Musser and uh, Carmen Comparins will be on this show on Tuesday at the same time to discuss the changes, whatever they may be, uh, and answer any of your questions. So until then, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week.